So we're gonna do some single track with the 701. Let's see how it is. How nice would it be to be able to hop on the freeway at 80 miles an hour and not have to worry about the majority of single track and trails thrown at you? How nice would it be to hop on the highway for a four or five day adventure? Stay at a few slimy hotels with no worries in the world if your bike can make it to those destinations. Say a roughed out, you know, unexplored single track was along the way, you had no clue, but your bike is just at home there ready to hit the next hotel at speeds of 75 miles an hour with uh, more to give. Well, what if I did tell you the 701 can do all of that? It might open up a whole new world to the definition of exploring. So bicycles and motorcycles. Woo, very sandy, wow. So far, I mean, this stuff is flowy and easy, so I mean, it does fine on single track, really. Rocky as shit. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, man, I mean, no problem. Feels fine to me. You know, we have some very tight, rocky single track out in Colorado. After all, it is the mountains above treeline. And I'm willing to bet the 701 Enduro can manage it no problem at all. I've already taken my 701 on a few single tracks and by all means, it feels just like a dirt bike. Remarkably, you still have the confidence to go fast. Maybe some minor suspension tweaking here and there and a possible revalve to suit your needs, but not really much is needed on the 701. This is one heck of a bike. It's, it's pretty flickable. You know? Whoa! <laughs> Tons of fun out here. There's some good uh, single track riding. The only thing I would change is just the tires, you know? I mean, you kind of have to fight with it a little bit, but there's probably almost no difference than a, like, a DRZ, man. So right here in single track, you know, this is the place to this is the bike to own, man, if you really want to explore it all. And this is, uh, it's fairly tight. Ooh, this is steep right here. Yep. Did it no problem, that was pretty steep and tight. No issues whatsoever. Beautiful single track though, wow. Alright, it gets a little tight. Oh, that was gonna hit my nerves. So I was in an area around the Spanish peaks of Colorado. I can't really say the trail location since I was just exploring out on my own and trying to figure out what was around. I mean, isn't that what dual sporting is about? Go out, explore as much trails as possible, and if you run into gnarly terrain, the bike should be able to handle it. Am I right? Tonight I'm gonna pick my With this 701, you know, it's a give and take. Usually when you buy a bike, it's a give or take. More off-road, what do you want? More on-road? I think that might end it, guys. This is the bad part about this bike. Here, there's a tree I can't really, if it was lighter, I could just, you know, drop it and drag it, but this thing is a freaking monster. Yep, so we ended up turning around in that tree. <laughs> I used the kickstands to kind of like move around. There was no way I tried. It's really the do-it-all machine, man. This bike is freaking awesome. I mean, I've already, the single track has some, I mean, for the most part, it's flowy. Ooh, almost hit it. 
takes a little bit more work, a little bit more effort, but not much, man. It's dude, this thing is fine. See, exploring is great. It is hard to describe the feeling it provides us, but that is okay. Not everyone has to understand why we are so obsessed with uh, two wheels. Pretty silly, right? So, exactly how can I vouch for the 701? Best way I can describe it is, it is worth every penny, and I think each manufacturer should have something similar. Something like the KLR650, just a step down in weight and a step up in off-road capabilities. Anyhow, hopefully you guys enjoyed my content. If you do, go ahead and subscribe, hit that bell button, trust me, it definitely helps a ton. And I'll catch you guys on my next video.